just as long as you stand, stand by me. And all This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at one o'clock. This is Catherine Cracknell. The boss of the RMT Rail Union, Mick Lynch, has denied government accusations that a strike by his members today is cynically targeting people travelling to the final of the Eurovision Song Contest in Liverpool. Mr Lynch said he was sorry for any disruption, but added the union had given plenty of warning about the walkout. Workers are staging the day of protest at 14 companies as part of their dispute about pay, jobs and conditions. Excitement's building in Liverpool as thousands of people descend on the city ahead of the Eurovision final. The UK is hosting the event on behalf of last year's winners Ukraine and organisers have promised a distinctly Ukrainian flavour to the ceremony. This woman, Ola, fled Ukraine last year and has been living with family in Wales. She's in Liverpool for the contest and says they've been made very welcome in the city. When we got off train and we saw all these Ukrainian colours, Ukrainian flags, it's so welcome, it's made it made us to think like we are at home, like a piece of home. So thank you for that. The Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, is expected to meet the Pope during his visit to Rome today. The BBC's Paul Moss says it'll be an interesting conversation, given questions about the Pope's position on the Russian invasion. On the one hand, the Pope has condemned Russia for, for committing war crimes in, U- in Ukraine. On the other hand, he's never condemned or criticised Vladimir Putin personally. And at times it does seem like the Pope has been hinting that NATO and the West is to blame for Russia invading Ukraine. To say the least, Volodymyr Zelensky does not see things that way. Police in County Down say a viable pipe bomb was found outside a house in Newtonards during a security alert last night. The residential area was evacuated and people were only allowed back to their homes this morning. A nurse from Devon has won an international prize and £200,000 in cash for her work in improving diabetes care. Margaret Shepherd, who's from Exeter, received the Aster Guardian's Global Nursing Award in London last night. Anthony Birchley reports. Margaret Shepherd said she was shaking and honoured to have been announced the winner of the award, which organisers say seeks to recognise the contribution of nurses to humanity. In 2002, she set up a national network of specialist nurses to raise awareness of monogenic diabetes, a condition which can be passed from parent to child and is hard to diagnose. The prize, now in its third year, considered applications from more than 50,000 nurses around the world. Judges said Ms Shepherd exemplified the highest standards of patient care and described her dedication as inspirational. And the weather largely dry and sunny this afternoon, but low cloud may linger in some eastern coastal areas and there's the chance of the odd isolated shower in the west. Temperatures reaching 20 Celsius in Inverness, 18 in Coleraine and Carmarthen, 15 in Wolverhampton and 16 in Colchester. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past one. 12 points. Who's one? Goes to United Kingdom. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Your ultimate UK Eurovision song. On BBC Radio 2. Hello, it's Steve Wright here. How are you? Now, as the excitement builds to the Eurovision Song Contest 2023, which will be held in the UK for the first time since 1998, on behalf of Ukraine, who of course won last year. We'll discover your ultimate UK Eurovision song as we count them down. Now from the Radio 2 list, you've been voting for your favourite songs from the UK entrants that have competed in the Eurovision final 